All right, guys, so it is late summer, and I know the ground is getting hard as a rock. Um, so I want to just give some tips on uh, probing, uh, how we can uh, even use just the garden hose to soften the ground. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of patience, but you're not going to wear yourself out working this way. Uh, this ground is hard. Now I'm here with just an old probe I found out back, okay? Spent all day trying to probe this hard ground. And we're gonna wear ourselves out. So all you gotta do is grab the hose and just start soaking the ground. Of course, we, first we wanna go through and make sure we're in the, you know, as close an area as we can to where we think that tank is gonna be. So if we've got a, a drawing from the county, We'll start there um, and also gain any information, you know, find where the well is at, make sure we're in an area that's going to be, that's going to make sense for where the tank might be. Uh, we can go in the basement, we can check where the line comes out of the house and, you know, make sure we're, uh, we have a, a good proper starting point. And so just take the, the hose and just let it start soaking the ground. I mean, let it go for, let, you know, 30, 40, 50 seconds. Let just let it soak. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna find that this is starting to run down the hill. Even you know we're on, the, on this slight little slope here. So just start by making some holes. That'll let the water start getting into the ground instead of just running over the top and running down that hill. So wherever that you think you want to start investigating where the tank is going to be or where the lid might be on the tank if we've already found the tank, let's just start opening up some holes and letting the, the water get into the ground. And once it gets in, it'll start to spread out and it's going to help to soften it all up. And once we've sat here and we let it soak for a little bit, we want to just start moving this probe around as we put some pressure down. As the water softens the ground it's going to start allowing it to go through easier and easier so let it let it soak let it soak and then just start working your holes and it'll it'll start to soften up for you into to a point where you'll be able to probe it and of course it's also going to make it a lot easier to dig See, once you get through that hard pan, it'll, it'll go. And another tip that I'm doing here, as I start to work down, start to open up that hole. Work down a little more, open it up. Because what's happening is, when you first stick that in, that ground is so tight on the probe, it's all it's doing is working against you. Once you move it around, open that hole up a little bit, now it's not gonna be, you're not gonna have that friction, it's not gonna have that restriction and you'll be able to push it into the ground a little bit easier. So start working it in, working around. And I'm, I'm not jamming, 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 wearing my hands out. I'm just using my weight to, to put some pressure down and I'm opening it up. Okay. And we can continue that way until we locate the tank and find the edges of the tank and be able to lay it out might take us a half hour longer to do the job but we're not going to be dead wore out our hands aren't going to be killing us and you see this is starting to it's it's just it almost takes the probe right into the ground once it really starts to soak and then once you uh once you get the lids located you can go ahead and start digging and it's gonna it obviously gonna dig a lot easier than you're just using the bar to break it up or just fighting all day long trying you know trying to scrape it a little bit out of the time with a shovel once it's nice and soaked and you've probed it you know you're getting that water into the ground all the way down to the tank 
it'll, it'll, it's all going to soften right up. So I hope that makes, makes life a little bit easier and we can make sure that we are accomplishing the jobs when we go out to them. You can see we've only, we've only been soaking this for, you know, less than five minutes here. And it's really gotten to the point where I, I could probe almost normally on these parts that are soaked. And what I would do if I've got a uh, two compartment tank, uh, or there's a, a second tank, so we're gonna be digging more than one hole. Once I get the first lid located and get it nice and soaked, I'll go ahead while I start digging on that one. I, you know, we should be able to have a good idea where that second lid's going to be. You know, if it's a 1,500 gallon tank, we've got two lids. We know it's going to be roughly five to six feet apart. Throw the hose over there. Start soaking the second one while we open up the first one. Then by the time we're done digging on the first lid, we can move over. We can get it probed, make sure we're right on that lid and then we can open that up and it's going to be soaked and ready to go by the time we get over to it. So I hope that this helps uh, a little bit, make, make the job a little bit easier and um, we can uh, save our bodies, save our hands and uh, save some frustration. So I'll see you guys later.